Hey everybody, so um, this morning I am here with a huava. This is a critically endangered species, one of the rarest plants in the world. And here is one of its flowers. Huava is, di um, is dioecious, which means that it's a male-female species. So this is a male plant. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that one flower and we're probably not going to get a ton of pollen, but we'll get some pollen, which would be good. And then we're going to go hand pollinate a female. So, um, it's very easy to just collect the flower because I just want to check and see if the pollen has been released. And it looks like it has. So. We'll just go and just pick the flower right off at the base because what I've learned is that if you pick them too high, you don't have um, anything to hold on to when you're processing the pollen. So, uh, yeah, it'll be really good to uh, to collect the pollen, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, hey everybody. Um, I am just back in the lab. Um, this is our guava flower. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, and there is an anther. And we have a nice little tiny like little, I don't know, uh, mayonnaise cup or something that you can find at a, um, I don't know, fast food restaurant for like a sauce or something. And that's what we're going to use to ca catch the pollen. And then um, we're going to use this needle to extract the pollen from the anther. So the first thing that we do is we peel back the... Well, usually we'd peel back, but this specimen is kind of dry. So we just take off the petals, and now we have... Um, the anthers visible and then in between the anthers there is a yellow line that's the pollen so basically we just run the needle through the yellow line to extract the pollen like this um, and hopefully the pollen should fall out um, that one the pollen might have already fallen out of. But yeah, usually you have to play with the flower a little bit to get some pollen. So there's some pollen. You can see it's a little yellow dot on the end of the pen. Um, so you just scrape it right through. You won't get all of it. That's okay. Then just a tap on the bottom of the dish is totally fine to get the pollen off. Um, it definitely takes a steady hand and some practice. But there's some more pollen you can see. It's yellow and it's on the pen. Um, and this should be enough pollen to uh, pollinate a few flowers. Try to be very de delicate with it um, because usually sometimes you can get um, Sometimes you can get the, all the pollen to fall out in like one long line, but this, yeah, we got some more pollen. Most of it has fallen off, but that's okay. That's where we need it. It's a pretty interesting, like, I'm pretty excited that I get to do this on such a rare plant, because um, there's only a few of them left. I forget what the actual number is, but it's not many. Um, so, so another one of the problems is like you want to wait until it's perfect to extract the pollen. If you wait too long, um, the pollen will be released and you won't really get very much a good um, like you, you won't get a very good sample um, if you wait too long but if you 
collect the flowers too early, the um, anthers won't be open, and you won't be able to collect any pollen. So that's that's a very important consideration. So we'll do a quick little to get. And we're not getting too much pollen off this guy. There is pollen there. Just a matter of getting into the into the anther to get it out. Sometimes this happens a lot faster. I can process about 20 flowers in about a half hour. Uh, but this one it's kind of been out for a little bit because I have a hard time getting everything that I needed uh, earlier, so that could that could be a reason why it's a little bit harder to get some of the pollen out. Um, but yeah, usually like if you um, do this with the anthers, um, you'll get a nice dusting of pollen on the bottom. And we want to keep all the plant material out because that will be harder for us to pollinate the flowers with having plant material in there because all we want is the pollen. Actually, I'm going to switch to another needle. It's bent. It's interesting. Yeah, so it's very important to collect the flowers and process the pollen as soon as you have the material. Because then you don't have to worry about the flowers being flimsy or not opening or not releasing pollen. Yeah, I just got some more. Also, it has been moist too, so that could also be a factor in us having a hard time collecting the pollen. It seems that it's really good to collect the stuff on clear days, but I'm not going to be here for the next couple days, and I don't want the flower to drop. So you have to weigh your you have to weigh your options, but. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit more pollen. The anther out of there. I think we collected as much as we're going to collect off this plant. There's the anther it's out. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, you can see um, there's one, two, three, four dots of pollen. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And there's some pollen dust in there too. So we have enough to successfully pollinate a few flowers. And that will be the next. Um, and then with this this stuff, um, I'm just gonna throw it outside, and then put the lid on. 
So now we're all ready to go pollinate some.